K. Of course. We question all the Clarkson Food Delivery Services employees who staff the warehouse and its owner. But we still have yet to obtain any key testimonies. But this is helping. Par for the course with a 14-year-old case, if you ask me. Simon, you're you're taking the criminal side. Mm. Not to mention how bad the timing was. Most of the employees were on vacation. So, you gave up on the investigation and came to see us instead. <laughs> Dark laughter. Remember what happened, my fairy? That warehouse. That man. So incoherent. Such a pain. Hey, are you talking about... Leading the witness, Simon? The guy who managed the vault where Lisa's body was found? Yeah, I think he started working there in 2005. How do you know so much... Trivial minutia? You're like a Redditor. Remember, Aaliyah? You said he was a pain to deal with, too. Aaliyah does not remember. A large man, yes. Hmm. No need to answer. Look, at he's already got her on the back foot. He's asking the questions now. I'm sure you've already put him under surveillance. Textbook FBI protocol. Yeah. <laughs> it's... My God, he's a genius. The FBI surveils people. Even this messy room. There must be a reason for it. It's rustic. Especially when it comes to those strangely tidy spots. They're practically begging me to question them. I mean, that, that spot on the coffee table, there was definitely just a piece of pizza there. 100% there was a slice of za. Holly MVA supplement. Oh my god. They're... Like uh, Korean face masks. This guy's got a skincare routine. And a home IV kit. It's probably filled with highly concentrated vitamin C. <laughs> oh shit! Get down! This whole place is rigged to explode. He said that being on the verge of death is intriguing. But then why does he have such an elaborate home medical care setup? And yet no garbage can. How does he truly feel? He's got a bunch of. Old bags of orange juice just hanging around. What else we got? Oh, I mean, I gotta know. DVDs are all over the place. Some great movies in there. Low Sky. Paris, New York. Ratman is a good one. Yasmin. Try to, what's that one in the bottom right here? You know what? If you give me a second, I bet we can... Enhance. Enhance. The Evil Mountain 4. The Evil Mountain 4. That's a classic. I didn't know they got that one in America. Yeah, I mean, the first three were better, but at least it's not the Evil Mountain 8, dude, with Charlie Sheen. I know that he's a shut-in, but this still seems like way too many for one person. And I've never heard of any of these titles before. You haven't heard of Ratman? You go outside much? This room's a total mess. But certain There's a big old the Dorito game. there. That's where I keep my Doritos. Just a coincidence? Mm. No. There are no coincidences with this man. I gotta know about the movies. A stinking indulgence. And a massive DVD collection. <laughs> Yo, he's got Emerald Dragon 3 and Emerald Dragon. Ninja Police. Police Dogs 1 through 8. Lola X. This is incredible. Twin Murder. Die Hard Hotel. Final Impact. Old Billy! You see Old Billy down there in the bottom left? <laughs> this would have been a great job. 
You must live a very comfortable life. Yeah, this apartment screams uh, a lavish lifestyle. We're retired, remember? Retired in your 40s. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm envious. Um, he's dying. But who doesn't love movies, Belle? I'm not a fan. You're not a fan of movies. Oh, that won't do. You should dedicate all the free time you... Oh. Films guide us. He said you should dedicate all your free time to watching movies. Films guide us. Films are filled with every important life lesson there is. How to kill the Mad Titan? Is that so? For example, <laughs> they live. Great movie, John Carpenter. 1986, put on the glasses. Keith David and Rowdy Roddy Piper. 1988. Oh, son of a Carpenter. bitch! That film taught us a valuable lesson. Don't believe everything you see. Always put on your sunglasses before a fight. That was pretty close. You know, you... This guy's a huge They Live fan. Movies teach us about everything we need to know. I learned about the right way to eat frozen pizza from Cobra. It's one of Stallone's best films. It absolutely is not. Before that, I wouldn't be caught dead trying to eat frozen pizza. Now it makes up six out of seven dinners a week. I thought it wasn't fit for human consumption. But that film changed my life. Simon, that has nothing to do with the film. Simon, you Philistine. You're just talking about pizza. <laughs> We're, you're nothing like me, Simon. <laughs> you watch movies to learn how to eat pizza. I watch them to learn what about sunglasses. We're nothing alike. Speaking of pizza. Mr. Morgan. I found several spots in this room that look strangely clean. Did you tidy up a bit because you knew we were coming? Oh. Those are sanctuaries. They've existed from the start. You could just say that was here when I moved in. Sanctuaries. That's right. Sacred places. Hovels for pure souls, if you will. Were there originally I won't? objects in those hovels? Something you didn't want us to see. The soul's still there. We haven't touched a thing. But we know you can't see anything. Hey, Simon. <laughs> oh, he's, he's not messing around anymore. Don't touch the sanctuary. Oh. oh. Uh, s sorry. Simon, you dweeb. <laughs> That's a sanctuary. That's a sanctuary. This is a sanctuary. I'm a sanctuary. Never My fridge and bathroom are sanctuaries. You've been watching us for four and a half years, and you couldn't even figure that much out. Uh, my bad. It's my first time actually coming inside, you know. <laughs> He's nervous. You're earning far more than you deserve, then. Wow. What were you doing all day in that black suburban? We thought wiretapping was your specialty. Don't tell me. Crossword puzzles. Um, I'm more of a word search guy. What do you think, my fairy? Four and a half years. All that time. And what does he have to show for it? Crossword puzzles? No way. Come on. I thought you knew. Video games? I'm a Sudoku guy. Oh, you're close. Agent Jones. Oh, right. I'm a crossword puzzle guy, personally. So we diverge there. He's completely taken control of the conversation. God, he's good. At this rate, we'll never get anywhere. I need to press him some more. Rummaging Simon. Hold on, is there any... Dude, we're almost out of focus juice. Get me out of here. Agent Jones. 
The briefcase isn't even that big. How long does he intend to keep that up? Well, it's kind of hard when your hand keeps getting stuck through the back of it. Does he have pizza menus stuffed inside there or something? You know, we could just get lunch and then come back. Agent Jones, did you find the files? Green veil. Mr. Morgan. Deadly Premonition Do you One. These files? Of course. You touch the sanctuary. Ow! We told you. That's a sanctuary. Let him go. <laughs> Assaulting an FBI agent is an obstruction of you. justice. We told you. Go. <laughs> ah! Stay back. Stay back. Sanctuary. <laughs> Dark on steady breathing. He's, he's having a bad trip, dude. I cut my finger with that can opener this morning. I thought I stopped the bleeding, but it seeped through. How could I? It's the red. Everything should be fine now. I'm sorry for being so careless. I made sure to read through your file and learn about your condition. The color <laughs> red. Such an unusual thing to fear. Thanks for that. Please. Accept my deepest apologies. And also a little sly derision. I, I'm i sorry too, Morgan. I don't know what I was thinking. I'll never touch one of your sanctuaries ever again. You know, if you moved all the cans of uh, owl water, maybe I wouldn't trip over them. Just a thought. I'm not going to tell you how to live and your life. No more red either. <laughs> Don't ever touch one again. <laughs> the couch is red wine. It's a different color. Now, may we return to our discussion? It's burgundy. I won't let them touch it again. All right, time to start over Strangely from zero. Enough, this man has a fear of the color red. And I believe that fear is connected to the Green Veil case. You should call it the Red Veil case, really. We can turn now! Soon after Agent Jones started monitoring him, he was ordered to go through Morgan's trash. But he didn't find anything. Morgan used this machine to cut up everything. From his mail to his supermarket receipts. Then he even went as far as taking out his trash in parts. Not illegal, by the way. This is a very large shredder. Is there something you don't want people finding out about? <laughs> it does have a bright red button on it. You're mm. not wrong. Good, but we never know when some curious civil servants may come and sift through our trash now, do we? You're already retired. What are you so worried about? <laughs> it's just a simple habit. I got it when I was working at Enron. From back when we were still on duty. Didn't they bang that into your head when you were up in Quantico? Some habits are hard to break, no matter how hard you try. Could you tell me what exactly the word sanctuary means to you? Sanctuaries are sanctuaries. All right, say no more. Nothing more, nothing less. That doesn't explain anything. <laughs> Why do you wish to know? Just curious. <laughs> I love his, his home theater setup, dude. It's so good. <laughs> it's... 
bit. Oh. You're a much ruder person than you initially seem to be. Don't you agree, my fairy? What do our sanctuaries have to do with the investigation? If you're out of questions, then how about just going home? Wow. Hey, mind if I jump in here? M muchly. What is it, Simon? All right, let's see what Simon has to say. We hope you've. This should be good for us. Is a hot dog a sandwich, Zach? Well, actually, I'm also a little curious myself. No one's supposed to touch any sanctuary, right? That's what we said. What about you, though? <sighs> you can't even touch them yourself? Are there any extenuating circumstances? Mm, what if the sanctuary was going to die if you didn't touch it? What are you getting at? I mean, I doubt if any of this really matters, but... If no one can touch the sanctuaries, then... How do you clean them? He's on to us, Zach. And that's that. Mr. He's Morgan, he's pleading the fifth. I'd like to ask you some questions about this case now. We don't want to remember that town. I'm sorry, but there's no way around this. Review, recycle, reuse. The three R's of recycling. I remember hearing about this case on the news when I was still a student. A high school girl named Anna Graham was murdered and the FBI stepped in to take over the case. I also remember it becoming a sprawled investigation due to evidence found in the victim's throat. Is that correct? After that case, you went on sick leave for two years. And when you returned, you requested to be switched over to desk work. What happened? That's a private matter. Not at all. None of your business, Bill. Were you traumatized? Hmm. It's a common problem with prolific agents such as yourself. Yeah, they see some traumatic stuff and then they end up screwed up for a little bit like weaklings. But there's another possibility that may make more sense. Perhaps... You simply finished making preparations. What are you getting at? Thinking too much about something will always turn it into a problem. <laughs> One of the stylish, uh, stylish things I like about this game so far is when Aaliyah says something and it's in italics, so it's meant to be a famous quote. Uh... But then they don't tell you the origin. The Greenvale case. <laughs> case in point. Don't you think it resembles the Luke Carre case? Read the report. We have nothing else to say. I just need one more push. Almost got him. Start pulling the sweater one and more thing that can whole thread's past. gonna unravel. Clock in trash. Picture of a leaf. Honeycomb in a jar. I gotta know about this one. That's royal jelly. Huh? You were staring at the jar, weren't you? It's not piss, if that's what you're thinking. Everybody always thinks it's piss. It's not piss, okay? Do you find it strange that there's honeycomb inside? We wanted to harvest royal jelly in its most natural state. The queen's main food source, created from the worker bee's secretions. Phrasing? It's a perfect food, filled with power, meant to fuel the birth of the next queen. By absorbing it into our own bodies, we too can acquire that power. Sure it's not just a dish sponge in a jar of piss? Incidentally, did you know that all the worker bees are female? No. Guess they didn't teach you that at Quantico. Yeah, surprise. At FBI training, they didn't teach me that all worker bees are female. Imagine that. 
Male bees are only born to inseminate. God, I wish that were me. And they're born from unfertilized eggs to boot. They have short lives and don't even get stingers. Sort of feels like a glimpse into the future of our society, wouldn't you agree? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> He, re he has really, he spends too much time on Reddit, dude. That's why you can't retire in your 40s. It melts your brain. Women are gifted with the power to conceive, give birth, and nourish their children. But men, men are consumed with the job of providing women with the chance to do so. So I, I took baby class on Friday. None of this seems like the privilege of uh, carrying, birthing, and then breastfeeding a child. The, the first four hours of baby class were me nodding politely while the teacher made like a laundry list of the things that Kate had to do. If women no longer had to rely on men for the seeds of life, they would soon cease to desire them, we believe. Be careful, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Simon's like, yeah. <laughs> if it weren't for my prodigious virility, I'd be in a lot of huh? trouble. Of what? Your bell's already stolen the reins from you. <laughs> Simp. All right, clock in trash. The silver clock in that trash pile. Is that an H5? That's it. That's a Hummer right there. Hummer H5. They stopped making them big and started making them That's small. Right. John Harrison <laughs> turned them into chronology. clocks because the auto he industry was collapsing. After many years, he completed it and presented it to the Board of Longitude. The Board of <laughs> Longitude. When when the Board of Skatitude isn't for you. You're trying to get a little bit more casual, you graduate to the Board of Longitude. That's only a replica, of course. You like clocks? Clocks are amazing. Prime, we took the invisible idea of time and manifested it in these. Yeah, I love clocks too. Absolutely fascinating. I got a Casio. I disagree. Not a, not a big clock fan, huh? Oh. Why? Time is valuable precisely because it can't be seen. Yet nowadays people can't tell what time it is unless it's measured in numbers. Talk about idiocy. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't need about? to side with the Board of Longitude, but remember, humans used to cross oceans with the stars alone. We have our eyes to read moon charts and study the sky. We don't need clocks. Surely one way to look at it. Hey, uh, you want to meet up for dinner? Uh, yeah, we're, what time do you want to meet? Oh, I don't really do that. Just look for when uh, the North Star is at the position of uh, Galileo's crook. What if it's cloudy or storming? He's actually just owned her right here. All you need is courage and a love for adventure. This is the sentiment of somebody who is perpetually late. <laughs> Hear that, my fairy? Courage and a love for adventure? <laughs> Come on, Belle. Surely you know how many lives have been claimed by your pals, courage and adventure. <sighs> hey, hold on a second here. That board of longitude thing. Let's talk what about that. that. Sure. Let's let's learn a little bit more about the board of longitude. I was worried the game was moving I mean, a little too quickly. I've heard of it before. I'm an FBI analyst, remember? I'm pretty smart. I just sort of can't remember it right now. I know what it is, really. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> Come on, Aaliyah, back me up here. Board of Longitude, Aaliyah? right, Aaliyah? You don't know what it is. They're literally just ignoring him now. They're not even responding to what he's saying. <laughs> Mr. Morgan, please look at this. Oh, what did tonal just shift. Say, uh, the Board of Longitude. We don't want 
to remember Greenvale. This isn't a photo from Greenvale. It's a video! Look closely at it. Former Special Agent Francis Zack Morgan. It's a tree. This photograph predates Greenvale. It's from the Lucare case you worked on in 2005. Red. <laughs> it's actually sepia, but... Red tree. Red tree. Red tree. Red tree. Red tree. Yes. A red Very tree. good. That's a red tree. Greenvale wasn't the first place you saw one of these. The Greenvale case and the Lee Clarkson murder case. They're connected by these red trees, aren't they? Red trees. Answer me. What are these trees? The red trees. Red trees. Red trees. I want the truth. Tell me everything you know. I have a feeling that everything he knows is red trees. <laughs> the red trees. <laughs> Really did your homework. Well done, Bell. Magnificent. You're good. Damn good. Mm. Are you ready to talk now? I want to know what went down in Lucare in 2005. Oh. Fine. He we'll finally. Talk. We'll tell you what happened in that town. Yes. It was that red tree. Red tree. That red tree ruined my life. Red tree. It was... It was a sultry summer day. The sun comes down hard on you in the south. Like a torrential downpour of demonic whispers. A little heavy-handed, but sure. It all started back in that sweltering summer. We still had our best friend with us back then. The other me. <laughs> My better half. He said quizzically. Apropos of nothing at all. Oh, here we go. Ooh. It's got a bit of a bop to it for sure. You're a choice. When somebody needs you, you can't turn away. You're their only lifeline, just a hero, a bullet for hire. Does seem like they tap somebody who speaks the language to sing the song this time. Always a voice, a cry in the darkness. Anytime you hear that electric guitar percolating in the background, get ready for a very cheesy guitar solo. It's coming. The Deep South theme of Deadly Premonition 2. Hey, what are you doing on the... Hey, I got... Get that out of here! You can't be showing that kind of filth on Twitch TV! <laughs> the share zone. Yo, this is like uh, Hocus Pocus by Focus. Truly incredible. I'm st I gotta be honest, I'm still waiting for it. Dong da get it get dong 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 La da 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 I have bad news for you. I'd settle for some squams. 
Squam, 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 squam. Zach. Zach. Can you hear me, Zach? It's York, it's not Zach. Answer. Hello. There you are, Zach. <laughs> Sleeping again? I'm too pogged up. You think I'm falling asleep? Well, rise and shine. It's time for us to head back out into the chaos. Any minute now. Isn't that right, Zach? He said the line.